Welcome back. John Kelly with four elements fitness. And today I want to talk about nutrition, which is symbolized by the element of earth. Remember, you need all four elements to be truly fit. Okay? So let's talk about the foundation. The foundation of any fitness program or any healthy person's lifestyle is their nutrition. You are literally what you eat. Okay? Every week, every year, your body rebuilds itself with the foods that you eat. Your cells replace the old cells with new cells through the nutrition that you eat. So you literally are what you eat. Remember that when you want to put some crap in your mouth. Okay? The first thing you need to think about is what you're eating. You need to eat whole foods. Okay? And what I mean by whole foods is things with one ingredient. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lambs, hams. You need it! But it's seriously, you need to have foods that only have one ingredient, okay? Don't pick anything with more than one ingredient. It's that simple. Look at the package. Broccoli, yes. Look at the package. Sugar, dextrose, maldextrin, things you can't even pronounce. Don't eat that. Does it expire? Eat it. Does it have a long shelf life? Don't eat it. It's that simple, okay? The next thing you wanna think about is organic. You want your foods to be grown in organic soil. The way the farming industry works now is let's take a piece of land, grow things on it as fast as possible, destroy that land and move to the next piece of land. They do that continuously. They're destroying the earth and the foods that they're giving you have lower nutrient co content. You want to have foods that have higher vitamin and nutrient content. So what do you do? You buy organic because they till the soil the right way. They rotate the soil correctly so that the soil can continue to produce foods with high levels of vitamins and minerals. Don't believe me? Do your research. Low sugar. Sugar is poison. Literally is poison. It's addicting as heroin and cocaine. That's why everybody eats it. The more you eat it, the more you want it. Salty foods, fatty foods, you eat them. After a little while, you're like, I can't have no more. You can eat sugar every single day. You can eat it. You can eat it till uh, you, you can just keep eating it. Okay. You never want to stop eating it because it's addicting. Sugar is meant to be eaten seasonally. Usually things in nature grow in, during different seasons. So your body can have them periodically. It can't have them 24 seven, 365. So make sure that you're keeping your sugar content low. Where do you want to get your sugar from? You want to get it from vegetables and fruits. You don't want to get it in the form of sweets. You don't want to get it in the form of pasta. You don't want to get it in the form of bread. You don't even want to get it in the form of rice because those foods have no fiber. Okay, we'll get to that later, but keep your sugar low. Mostly plants, like I talked about, vegetables and fruits. If you are eating mostly plants, and yes, plants contain protein too, your diet is gonna be high in nutrients and low in calories. What does that do for you? It helps you lose weight. It helps your body function optimally, okay? I'm not saying you have to be a vegan or a vegetarian, but you wanna have mostly plants. You wanna have vegetables at every meal. You wanna have some fruit every day. These things are high in nutrients and high in fiber. You need both of these for optimal health. Moderate protein. You need protein, okay? You can get a lot of it from plants, but if you like animal protein, like me, then you need to get the kind that's uh, grass-fed, okay? So the meats, you wanna get grass-fed. The eggs, you wanna get pasture-raised, okay? If you get conventional meats, conventional eggs, those animals are grown with steroids and injected with antibiotics so that they, they can grow quickly and you can sell them faster and make more money. But they don't care about your health. Organically grass-fed cows take five years to reach full maturity. That's what you want. Okay, so get your beef grass-fed sources. Get your eggs pasture-raised sources. Get your meats organic or grass-fed. And if you get too much protein, then your body's gonna convert that to sugar. So the idea is to keep your sugar low, your protein moderate, and your fat high, okay? Why do we wanna have high fat? Well, fat uh, is needed in your body for your cells, it's needed for your hair, it's needed for your nails, it also is needed for cholesterol. Cholesterol is used to make hormones. So 
people are always saying, oh, my cholesterol is too high. If your cholesterol is not high enough, then you're not going to be able to produce hormones. Okay? Be careful of the medical industry. They're not looking out for your best interest. Do your research. Okay? There's a great book called The Cholesterol Myth. Everybody should read it. If you haven't read it, check it out. Also, high fat keeps you satiated between meals. This way you can have a big breakfast of eggs and bacon and vegetables, and then you can go four or five hours before you need to eat again, allowing your insulin to drop. When your insulin drops, your body is burning fat for fuel. Your insulin is up, it's gonna be storing fat. It's that simple. High fiber. Fiber is nature of way, nature's way of making sugar easier to digest and keeping insulin from spiking, okay? You wanna have fiber in your diet because it helps your digestive system. It helps clean you out. You wanna stay clean in your digestive system. And it also helps blunt the effect of the insulin. You wanna keep your insulin under control. You wanna be insulin sensitive, not insulin resistant. Okay, if you become insulin resistant, then you become diabetic. And we see that all over the country now. Diabetes is growing fast. Insulin resistance is growing faster than almost any other disease. Do your research. Finally, supplements. Supplements are supposed to be what they say, supplemental. You don't wanna be drinking three shakes a day, taking a bunch of fat burners. No, that's not what you wanna do. You wanna eat whole foods, high fat, moderate protein, low sugar. You wanna go long times without eating. And then you can add some supplements to your diet. Some magnesium would be great. Some vitamin D would be great. We don't get enough magnesium in our diet because of the farming I talked about earlier. We don't get enough vitamin D because we don't spend enough time outside anymore. And you can even throw in some uh, adaptogens like ashwagandha. These adaptogens, uh, Siberian ginseng, these adaptogens will help your body deal with stress. So if you have too much stress, it'll bring cortisol down. If your cortisol is low because you've been in a high stress environment for too long, it'll help bring your cortisol up. They adapt to you, okay? So quick overview of a very important element, the foundation. If your foundation is not built strong, it's gonna, the rest of your house is gonna collapse. So build your foundation strong with whole foods and don't eat out. If you eat out, you don't know what they're putting in your food. You don't know what kind of meats they're, eat, they're using. Everybody eats out once in a while, but don't make it an everyday thing. I have a client who used to eat out every single day. Now he's been on my wife's uh, meal prep program called RX Nutrition. Within two weeks, he's lowered his insulin medication by half. So that's exactly why I do this here. I do these videos to help you guys be healthy because I'm on my journey to be healthy. I go through my ups and downs just like everybody else. But as long as you guys are learning and you're growing and you're building your foundation solidly, you're gonna be healthier and you're gonna be happier because nothing is more important than your health. Once you don't have your health, you'll realize how important it is. So keep it while you got it. I'll see you guys next time. Hey!